you co-signed the recent Social Security Trust Trustees report recommending that lawmakers take, in your words, timely legislative action to protect Social Security for future generations. Of course, saving Social Security and preventing a 25-year cut in senior benefits will require presidential leadership. You're here to testify on the administration's budget request for your department. Have you encouraged the administration to include any legislative proposals in their budget to extend the solvency of the Social Security? Senator, I'm very mindful that the prerogative of policy and timing is that of your, your august body, Article I, along with the President of the United States. Uh, I have expressed to the administration that just as I promise you in our, our meetings and all of you that serve that, um, on the confirmation hearing, uh, that we have an actuary who is top-notch, has served under Democratic and Republican presidents alike, and uh, I stand ready, willing, and able uh, to provide any data, any information that would inform this debate and make sure that it is grounded in the truth, and the sooner we get to the truth, I think the better for the American people. Um, not only does uh, Biden-Harris budget fail to extend Social Security solvency, their budget project projects that uh, the policies it contains would reduce Social Security payroll tax revenues by $17 billion. As a result, their budget would worsen the program's finances. Uh, which policies in the Biden-Harris budget are responsible for this reduction in Social Security revenues? S Senator, I'm sorry, I'm, I was not I was not following the call of your, your question. Can you, can you come at me again with that? Yeah. Which policies in the budget, Harris budget, are responsible for this $17 billion reduction in Social Security payroll taxes uh, that comes to support Social Security? Uh, Senator, I'm not aware of anything in their budget being responsible for that. However... I am aware that the, the dynamics in our, uh, you know, the demographics uh, are always constantly changing. Ratios of, of workers to, to uh, beneficiaries, birth rates, which has really taken a hit, and the, you know, what, what, what had been, you know, the strengthening of our country's finances by the arrival of immigrants has been greatly slowed in some cases uh, since you aren't prepared to answer that or uh, able to answer it today, I'd like to have an answer in writing. Yes, sir. If I find, if I find one, I will, well, I will get back to you in writing whether I find anything in their budget or, or not on that. Uh, well, yeah. let my staff help you find something in the budget. <laughs> yes, sir. Chris is very uh, <clears throat> diligent. As I mentioned during my opening statement, I regularly hear from Iowans who struggle to get in contact with anyone from social Social Security. Uh, despite increased staffing needs, the uh, administration uh, of Social Security continues to allow for flexible telework from frontline employees such as field office workers. In fact, I said earlier a field office manager uh, told me in June that only five of her 40 employees come to the office five days per week. What steps are you taking to uh, as commissioner to ensure more employees uh, do show up to the office. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, thank you. One of the issues I had to deal with immediately upon your uh, sending me to uh, the Social Security Administration was a change in our telework posture. I don't believe that anybody in pu public or private sector got this right the first try, and neither did we. But the second try was on February 2nd, about 30 days after I had walked into that headquarters, and we changed our telework balance. Now, uh, in truth, the field offices have been open five days a week ever since vaccines were available, and in a sense never closed because managers went in anyway uh, and opened the mail all through, all through COVID to make sure that you know, we didn't stop doing what we needed to do. But our posture at the headquarters and in the regions uh, in the field offices, by the way, sir, it is, uh, they're open five days a week. Uh, three of those days are, are uh, in person, in the office, because you can't, 
you have to be able to see people. And two of those are telework where things get processed, interviews happen on the phone, interviews happen uh, by video. As I traveled around, I indeed, as you did, found some people that choose to come in all five days out of the week. Uh, with regard to the regional headquarters, that and the headquarters in Baltimore and Washington, the office in Washington here, the change was to go to three days a week uh, in person, two for telework. Uh, if you, the latest report that came out from the OMB report to Congress on telework uh, showed that we had more on-site pre presence than Department of Education, HUD, Labor, Treasury, Environmental Protection, GSA, National Science Foundation, and an article, I believe it was GovX, said that we may have struck the balance that will be an example to other federal agencies. Uh, so we're, we're open to other ways to improve, but right now the balance is a lot better than it was. Thank you.